I've teased y'all enough about this thing, so I might as well show it to you. I pretty much put this thing together from all the used parts I've had from uh, my first solar system and some bad batteries I got that I had to reject out of my other cell because they were too low to fit onto this circuit. So I'll unveil this and uh, let y'all see what this thing is. It's some spatulas. I've been holding that off, but I really like these spatulas. Uh, you know, that was really cool. I hope y'all enjoyed me showing this to y'all. <laughs> this box is a box that goes with it. I'll open that here in a minute. I've got it covered in this uh, EMT claw, which I've put an ohm meter to, and it really does conduct electricity. Don't have it quite as tight as I ought to have it, but I think it's better than nothing at this point. And if anything was to happen, I really want it to survive. It's a toolbox. I wanted to protect my uh, tools, like my... <laughs> I can't remember the name of that damn tool. I want to make sure my bolt cutters are protected from an EMT because you never know when that's going to happen. I don't want to lose that bolt cutter from an electronic magnetic pulse. It could mess up the chipset in it. I think it's somewhere in it. Well, you probably figured out by now I'm, I'm fibbing a wee bit here. Anyway, this is my 7.2 kilowatt hour solar generator all in this box. Now, this is a pretty big box. I think I could fit a body in it if I had to, but uh, it's uh, <laughs> my solar generator, and it's got some flashes there. There. And there we go. Inside it, I've got... So it's a solar generator. This is where my headlight has come in very handy. But it's got the same lithium phosphate batteries I have on my solar. These are the ones that tested 230 amps when I paid 280 amps for them. So that would actually make it a 5.9, 5.8 kilowatt hour battery uh, bank. But... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's very mobile. I've got uh, it actually broken down into two 12 volt batteries. So it actually has a redundancy. Now I'm changing inverters and I'll tie them all together and make it a 24 volt system. It'll actually take my old inverter on the wall, which is 3000 watts. It's currently has the 1500 on it, and that's why. I divided it into 12 volts because this is a 12 volt inverter but i'll be putting a 3000 inverter 24 volt on there instead and i'll drop these two bms's and just go with one but i've got the turn off switches for both batteries so i can isolate them and i have a solar charger in here now that one will do up to 1200 watts which is about right for this battery. Unfortunately, I only have eight 100 watt panels to feed this thing. I need about four more so I can get 1200. Otherwise, it'll take more than a day to charge up these batteries. There's the solar charger meter. I also have a Victron battery charger, 12 volt charger. <laughs> I'm about to get a 24 volt crap. An AC charger where I can just plug it into the wall and charge these batteries if I needed to. So I'm going to keep this as a 12 volt now that I think about it because pretty much everything is set up for 12 volt. <laughs> so it's got redundancy in the batteries because I got two separate batteries in case one goes out or something. I have a 12 volt fuse box here that I can tie stuff into if need be. That's how I've run all these things. Uh, there are all kinds of different stuff I'll show in a minute and I got my inverter 
1500 with 3000 peak. There's my main positive bus bar. And I tried to put my negative on the other side. Got a breaker for my AC charger. And on the side here is the main battery on off to turn it on or off. Uh, it runs actually both of these batteries come together on it. And in the front, where it's a little harder to see, this is where this box comes into play. Got my two multi plugs with a thick 12 gauge wire that I can plug in here. And this is all the cables to run it out to the outside or wherever I have my solar panels set up. I have two plugs here with a watertight. This whole box is made to be watertight, so I could put it outside if I had to. And uh, take that plug off. Plug that in, and you've got eight plugs now, which you can use. And then I've got an assortment of plugs up here. These two on this side are cigarette lighter plugs. Two 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs. I should turn this thing on. And this is how the first one battery BMS is. And this is how the second BMS is, uh, the battery. Uh, I charged these probably six months ago, and they are still fully charged. I really haven't used it. I probably shouldn't keep them in this state of charge. Uh, I'll drain them some or something. It takes a lot to drain these things. But uh, that's how the BMSs look. So let's fire this thing up. They look good to me. Yeah, this is 10 gauge wire with an Anderson plug on the end of it. And then it just starts plugging into the typical uh, solar charger, solar panel plugs. But it goes in, but it goes in right here. I got a cord on this. Plugs in just like that. And then I run that to the... Uh, solar panels so it can be charged by solar or AC so to prove it actually works and hopefully I don't electrocute myself I'm hooked in this fan definitely works pretty cool it's a little heavy to put You'd have to have two people lift it up in a pickup or a SUV or something, but you could stack the solar panels on top of it. But uh, there you go, a little mobile solar generator. And of course, I have plenty of cable to run it all the way out into the yard where the solar panels will be. That's all part of this uh, accessory kit. I keep in here with it. I kind of wanted to uh, make a shelf up here or something where I could put all that stuff in here. I'll mean to do that one day. I think I got room in here up on the lid to do that. I'll eventually mount this somehow watertight to the top of here so when it's closed I can see the readings and everything. So I got a few more things I want to do to it to tidy it up, but I mainly got it up and running and uh, so that it would be good. Shut down my batteries. And everything's back off again. But all this stuff is just off of old solar stuff other than the ac charger was the only thing i bought for it maybe some wires and, and these plugs here and boom i had a 
5.8 kilowatt hour solar charger. Kind of cool. I don't know. I gotta put this back up. It is not a light thing. <laughs> but it's nice it has this comes out. Gives me a little bit more leverage. It's on wheels. So you can pick it up and move it. I can pretty easily roll it. Would want to pick it up, but it rolls pretty nicely wherever you want it to be. It's pretty big. I got had to get a pretty good size toolbox in order to fit it in. But uh, I like it. Definitely can do some more stuff with the top here. And put some gauges up on top. Try to make them waterproof so that I don't have to really open it. I may put a few vents on it to air it out with some fans or something. Make sure the vents are well protected from the weather. It won't let rain it. Something. But that way you can get some air circulation in here. For when it's really running all the time. Good way to use your spare solar parts <laughs> and with this i can got my uh, big house inverter this one is 28 kilowatt hours battery bank 6000 watt inverter and 4000 watts of solar this one is 5.8 kilowatt hours uh, with a 1200 watts of solar and if you want more mobility i've got this battery bank these panels which go with it this is 160 watts there's 160 watts that charges this thing now that's really mobile you can grab that and go and run it has USB plugs as well as a regular plug and a cigarette lighter cigarette lighter on it there's my third solar array uh, so depending on what kind of mobility you want, you can go with this one. It folds up really nicely and has enough wire to go 50 feet. Or you can use this. This is a 28 volt system with a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank, which will do some pretty serious charging. That I include these in all of our get home bags. This folds up pretty neat. This actually has holes here so you can clip it on your backpack and just let it hang on your backpack so while you're walking you can get some energy that way. But folds in a pretty nice thing. Just slides in the backpack. I've got cables for all the phones and different things I charge for my flashlights and stuff. Use it to charge this, and then this in turn powers and charges everything else. So I have a few, four different sizes to pick from. So that's my assortment of different solar chargers and solar banks I can use, depending on what I want to do with them, or what I want to, what I want to want to. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this. Uh, it was fun putting this thing together. My headlight worked really good for these tight spots. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll respond as soon as I can to it. Thanks again, and y'all have a good one. Take care.